Hi, this is John with Estimator. This video we're going to discuss the new currency formatting feature that we've added to Estimator. We've had a lot of international interest in the program and decided to add a feature to allow users to change the currency symbols and, and formatting to suit their needs. So uh, in this example, um, I'll just pick a stud that's in here. Um, I have a stud that's $4.18 US. So if I was to right click and say select all the active instances of that, You'll, you can see that I've got $1,100 worth of studs. If I run a report and go to HTML report, you can see that I have 268 studs at $3.97, total dollar amount. All right, let's say that we wanted to change this $4.18 US to uh, for euros, for example. Um, not sure how much that would be. What is it? Maybe a little bit less than dollars in current rate let's say 375 each but let's go over to our user settings and you'll see now we have this currency formatting or save currency formatting so what we can do here is double click inside this box change that dollar symbol to euros for example and change the separator between thousands to a period instead of a comma and separator between the decimals as a comma instead of a period and it's whichever you use in your separators I think some people have a blank space and some people um, may have a dot here before the decimals but you can change those separators save currency formatting now you'll see that it's 418 in euros if I was to again right click on that instances select active there we go now, now we're in euros if I run that report run the HTML report you can see that it's in euros. So hopefully that helps you in your local area uh, to put the currency in the way that you desire. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.